Hey, happy bu uh, Monday, everybody. It's good to see everyone. Let me go ahead and get uh, all of the various chats up. Hope you're excited for the broadcast today. Gotta say, I, um, I've been thinking about Baldur's Gate for the entire weekend, just itching for Monday to come so that I could play. Uh, as I said when I ended the broadcast on Thursday, when we first started playing Baldur's Gate, there's a lot about the game that I don't understand. There's a lot about the story that I don't quite understand. And yet, despite all of that, I am compelled to continue to play the game. Like, I wanna, I wanna explore this world a little bit. I want to explore the game mechanics a little bit. So, I am eager for today. And I, uh, I hope you're looking forward to more adventures with, uh, uh, uh what, what did we call him? Horny Bard? Oxy Bard? Horn Bard? Some Bardy Ox. Was it Bardy Ox? I think it was Bardy Ox. Um, additionally, I was able to get my lore video done for the weekend. Huge relief to me, because now I'm not going to be constantly getting the questions. Hey, Oxhorn, have you abandoned Fallout? Hey, hey, Oxhorn, when's the next lore video, Oxhorn? When is, you don't do Fallout anymore, do you? Like, oh, come on! Yes, I still do Fallout. Ugh. Anyway, I published it, and I'm really proud of it. It turned out great, and that's right, it's... The Railroad, we are doing the full story of The Railroad, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the intro video that I've been working on, and uh, I'm not going to show you the whole episode, of course, because it was over an hour long. We explored the Railroad headquarters, um, every terminal, every character in The Railroad. We reoriented ourselves with the plot of The Railroad, and we're going to be continuing with uh, that plot uh, for the next several weeks. Now, let us uh, let me show you the intro song that took me forever to finally edit and piece together. Part of what's been taking me so long. Uh, it turned out really well. I'm thoroughly pleased with it. That song you heard, it's not from the game. I had that composed. It is, of course, based, at, uh, based off of the official Railroad theme. But I worked with my longtime composer, who's been helping with, with uh, me with most of my intro video songs, to really nail the sound of the Railroad theme but um, to make it work as like a 30 second long intro sequence and just the muted trumpet is beautiful. It worked, turned out really well. Hope you enjoyed the editing. I tried to have like a, a clever little eye blink transition, which I hand in and I did all of the animation and Adobe Premiere. So it was a lot of fun to put together. But for today, we are diving back into the world of Balder. Who is Balder, by the way? It's Baldur's Gate, Where, but does he own anything else? Are there like Baldur's Castles or you know, Baldur's Ponds, maybe? Anyway, it's good to see everyone on Facebook today. Harold, J, Jessica McDonald, Toby Noble, Ruby, Sean, and uh, of course all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Naka Michael became a Silver Ox. Thank you so much, Naka Michael. It's good to see Tony J, Julian Z, Slatty, Bartfast, uh, uh, Naka Michael, of course, Wade Speakerman, Quentin Tyus, Bingo Bill, Jersey, Cat5, and then it's Julian Z with the first Super Chat of the day. Says, good morning, Ox. So good to see you on this Baldur's Monday. Hope you're well. How's your attempt to get Starfield content creator access? Love the lore vid? Starfield content creator axe? What is that? Like, is that a thing? I, this is the first I've heard of that, so if you're asking me if I've been reaching out to Bethesda to 
get access to the game early or anything? Uh, the answer is no, I haven't even thought about that. Wade Speakerman became a, uh, with a super tip, very generous super, super chat, says, uh, thank you, Oxhorn, you're my best friend I've never met. You and the community are a wonderful part of my day. But some good scotch and try a new cigar, huzzah. <laughs> thank you very much, Wade Speakerman. It's a pleasure to have you back here. The Gold Derby looks great on you. And uh, you're very generous, extremely kind, thank you. We're gonna have a great day. It's time to dive back in and see what our character is up to. Man of Warb says, it's the return of Orc's Horn. Well, let's see. Was it Orc's Horn? Let's uh, continue. See, I, I did some testing on my other computer. Let's um, try Wilderness. There we go. Ah, yes, please. Thank you. Julian Z says, uh, also, Ox, what would you say if I were talking to all your survivor streams and making a one-on-one -on -one recreation of your save file, same lore loot found, same skills acquired, same areas explored, nothing more, nothing less. Julian, I would say that I admire your dedication. I admire your dedication, and I'm humbled that you would uh, be willing to go through all of that for the broadcast, but um, I would not continue playing Jedi Survivor, mainly because even if we, you do recreate everything exactly, and by some miracle we manage to get the exact same save file, there's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to get through that wormhole. Right? The entire thing happened because the computer crashed uh, when I tried to go through the wormhole. And I have no guarantees that I'll even be able to get through there. So I don't want you to waste your time. In fact, let me be explicit and say, please do not do that, Julian Z. Do not, do not send me a game save file. Sadly, I'm going to have to retire Jedi Survivor. Um, it's just not going to work out for this stream because the game save file got corrupted. Though I am humbled that you would be willing to go through so much effort just for my bro broadcast. Mr. Master Chief 1594 says, thinking of the new enemy for Fallout 4, uh, mods it popular now in YouTube video, it called Skibidi, Skibidi Toilet? Right, I'm M Mr. Master Chief, I don't know what that means, but thank you very much for your participation. Pavel says, it's not Balder, uh, but Baldarian. He was a famous explorer who became very rich. He lived about 400 years before the story of Baldur's Gate 3. I see. So that's going back to my question about who exactly was Baldur. Well, it looks like my my photo is uh, obscuring the map. Let me uh, let me go ahead and move that real quick. And there we go. Okay, so here we are. And there's uh, good old uh, Barty Horn, or whatever his name is. And we had just recently gotten a new companion, right? It was this guy in the robe, Gale. We found him stuck in a portal. It was a portal that was malfunctioning. Well, we are still looking, let's see, there's one more, right? We had a friend. That's right, we, when we were on the alien ship, we had a friend who was with us and she disappeared after the crash landing. So we need to see if we can go find her. Now there was a ruin over here, which looks really interesting. And there is a road that goes straight there. But I wanna see if I can go find her first before we go exploring this uh, ruin. Breathe deep and move. Just 
Oh, wait a minute. Chapel entrance, ancient door. Did I just find the... Oh, I did! Sweet. But first, before we do that, let's go to the roadside cliffs. Let's, um... Okay, is this oriented correctly now? Yeah, okay. So I think I want to explore that later, but first I want to see if I can find... I have a sneaking suspicion. If we've already found three characters that we didn't even see on the ship. Well, two brand new characters that we didn't even see on the ship. If we already found two of them while exploring the ruins, I have a feeling, oh, we got traps here. I have a feeling we're gonna find another one close by. Torn net trap? Can I loot this or? It's torn, so it's not working, right? Not much use anymore. Can I do anything with that? Spiked bulb. Cage. Another broken trap. Who made these things? His voice doesn't really fit his orc personality. Wait, am I am I on him? What a day. A long way to go still. Let's get going. Yeah, I I, I think I should change my voice if I can. It doesn't really fit his character. Path lies before me. Oh, alt. You think it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. One of them carved up Zoru's whole squad. So let's leave it. And let the goblins have it? No. We take it to the grove. To the grove? What's he talking about? Old Ram says, Hey Ox, just wanted to say, I've followed you for a long time and I love all of your videos. And also thank you. Uh, thank you got allowing me to skip all terminals and laying down the lore for me to easily understand. You're welcome, old Ram. That's one of the joys I have of exploring the lore in the Fallout universe, is being able to stop at terminals, stop at holotapes, uh, holotapes and connect all of the dots. All right, what are they, these guys up to? Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, ah! twice as ugly. There she is. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Get rid of them! Okay, well, we finally found her, and she's in a cage. Uh, by demons? Have a bunch of demons captured her? Paladin Dance's girlfriend says, Appreciate you narrating as you play. Reminds me of Choose Your Own Adventure Games. Thank you, Paladin Dance's girlfriend. Well, on that note, we have five options. Uh, rather demanding for a woman in your position. Why should I? Don't worry, I'll get them out of here one way or another. Or we could pass a deception check. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here, leave it to me. We could pass a persuasion check. We could shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone. Uh, that's a plus three from charisma, plus two from uh, persuasion proficiency. But then we've got a bard class specific deception. Oh gods, you've caught a scout. The Gith invasion force is right behind me. Save yourself. So this is my bard check. I get plus three from uh, charisma and plus one from jack of trades. But for this, I get plus two from persuasion proficiency. proficiency. And the deception one only grants me a plus one as well. Uh, do we answer her questions first? Yeah, we'll say, don't worry, I'll get them out of here one way or another. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. Or we could attack them. That unlocks a new check. Well, it looks like my greatest chance to resolve this peacefully is to pass my persuasion check. And so we'll tell them to shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone. Here we go. All right, so difficulty class five. 
Let's roll the dice. Easy breezy. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Danais? Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. Wait, we still have to attack it? Oh, are they gonna kill her? You've but one chance. Join me or die. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, I've been looking for her this entire time. I don't think I want to turn on her now. We'll attack the triflings. No! You lying rat! Well, that was me trying to find the peaceful route. A lot of luck that did. All right, one inspiration gained. Commence battle. So, this is our first fight with uh, this guy, Asterion. He's a level two rogue. And let's see, he has hamstring shot. Uh, reduces movement speed. Ranged attack. Make a ranged attack with your weapon equipped. Fire bolt. I guess a rogue can do magic. Main hand attack and a piercing strike. And that causes bleed. Jump, hide, dip, shove, throw. All right, let's try and... Can we get over there? Yeah, we can. We can get right behind the uh, both of them. So I could do a backstab right there. 65% chance. 65% chance as well. All right, so this is targeting that one. Can I target... Um, I want to see if I can do a hamstring shot. No, no, no. I want to do a, a piercing strike. There we go. 65. All right, let's risk it. Break them. Miss. Let's push him off the ledge. Well, that's it for him. Let's uh, end his turn. Never a dull moment. Okay, now it's Barty Horn's turn. Uh, let's see, what bard skills can we use to turn the fight in our favor? We just got a bunch of stuff by leveling up, didn't we? Thunder Wave. Uh, release a wave of thunderous force that pushes away all creatures and objects. Speak with animals. Charm a person. Um, okay. Charm a humanoid to prevent it from attacking you. You gain advantage on charisma checks in dialogue. Well, we've already exhausted dialogue. There's the hideous, hideous laughter. Unable to get up, and then there's vicious mockery. Let's try the hideous laughter. 60%. Worked! That's great! Let's inspire an ally. Let's inspire uh, him. Best be on my way. Oh, and I don't control her yet. Oh, this laughing is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> it just keeps going. All right, so she's a cleric. She's got a lot of cool uh, abilities here. Invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Disguise yourself. Cure wounds. Charm a person again. Sacred flame. Engulf a target in a flame-like radiance. Is that... Does that do damage? 
A flame-like radiance. Blessing of the Trickster grants another creature advantage on stealth checks. Guidance, ability checks, resistance. Inflict wounds. All right, so I do have one uh, spell here. Guiding Bolt. I guess that's a an offensive spell as well. Shield of Faith. Okay. Let's do Shield of Faith. On him, because he's right up there. Then let's see. Can we hit this guy? 65%. Time to meet your maker. Oh, that killed him! Demaze, no! Nice! Sarvis the Drow says, I'm glad you're continuing this game, Ox. It's probably tough for a newcomer to D&D, but I think you'll have a lot of fun as you learn the ropes. Thank you, Sarvis the Drow. So far, I'm having fun. Julian Z says, All right, Ox, I understand. To be honest, I started on this project a day after the corruption got about halfway before I realized I should probably ask, lol. Well, Julian, again, uh, I appreciate your tenacity. And, um, yeah, I I just don't want, I don't, I don't want you to waste your time. Especially on something where there's no guarantee. But thank you anyway. Okay, uh, it's still her turn. Let's see, Bardic Roll. Okay, so that's the ability that I've got from my Bard, I think. Uh, and it looks like I'm out. So we'll end turn. Guys roll in my favor. All right, now this guy's a mage of some sort. Sleep. Grease. Cover the ground with grease, slowing creatures within and possibly making them fall prone. Mage Hand, Ray of Frost, Mage Armor, Fire Bolt, Thunder Wave, Witch Bolt. Link yourself to a target with a Bolt of Lightning, dealing an additional 1 to 12 lightning damage each turn by activating an interesting strap fire bolt. Critical miss, wow. Just awful. And that's it. That's his entire turn. Okay, well, we've got our rogue here. Let's do a sneak attack. 88% chance. Okay, um... Well, let's see if we can get up to her and just smash her. I think you can take me on. We go. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Lies. Just get rid of her. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery. A training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. 
The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Also been infected with a parasite. He was hostile at first, but agreed to join us when he learned that we were infected too, and the Wizard of Water Deep. Check, check, check. Test, test. Okay, it's, according to my screen, it's working. I think I think I dislodged the cable. Well, I was just reading these, and I think you guys got the uh, the gist of it. But uh, basically, this one right here and this one have the exact same end result, and they are part of the, the main quest. So let's go ahead and focus on those. But it's interesting that we have a side quest for the Pale Elf. Continue traveling with Asterion and the Wizard of Waterkeep. A wizard named Gale joined the party. He claims to have been on the Nautiloid, which means he is infected too. Interesting that they say that he claims to have been on the Nautiloid. They don't say that for the Pale Elf. It simply says he's also been infected with the Parasite. So could the Wizard of Waterdeep be, be lying? Well, I'm kind of bummed that my bard character couldn't find a peaceful route. Like, I passed a pers persuasion check, and I thought that would be a peaceful route, but uh, apparently not. Pavel says crashes or crashes are places in material sphere where Yankee hatch eggs and raise children. Otherwise, they live in astral plane where aging does not exist. Fascinating. All right. Uh, oh, camp. So this is how we camp. Well, look at that. So that's our camp, okay. Should mind my step. And we can talk to our companions and get to know them a little better here. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazel is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. That's it? Okay. Something tells me he's um, keeping a lot from us. Well, uh, he's my least favorite party member, so I'm going to leave him behind so we can take Lazelle. I think it's better if you stay here in the camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Yeah, you thought wrong, and don't call me darling. Actually, never, never mind, we could say, or please just stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. <laughs> 
Okay. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. Well, she will not forget Lazelle for wanting to leave her behind. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far, we can ask? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? You must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? We go our separate ways, of course. What else? The ties that bind would be well and truly severed. Well, she's charming. Where would you go? If you must know, Baldur's Gate. And before you ask, no. I'm not telling you what I'm doing there, or who I'm meeting, or anything else. Well, um... You're keeping something back, we could say. You pry too much. Any further, and you'll regret it. Understand? All uh, right, okay. We could say, how am I holding up in your estimation, but let's just turn to other matters. We should get to know each other a little more. This is a different dialogue tree, so hopefully this isn't going to piss her off. We'll say, we should get to know each other a little more. So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. You do seem like the type, I must say. Yikes! Okay, it was just a thought. No need to take offense or the type. What do you mean? Or yes, I'm the type to pry. Are you the type to answer? <laughs> I've changed my mind, we can say. We can get to know each other another time. I'm gonna go with three. Yeah, I'm the type to pry. Are you the type to answer? My, look at you. Straight as an arrow and right to the point every time. This isn't the tadpole I'm speaking to, is it? The personality seems a little lacking. Ouch. We could say, mock all you like, it's clearly just a front. Or we could say, you've got me. I am the mighty tadpole. This body is my vessel. Oh yeah, that's our choice. And that's the vessel you chose. I jest. It's good to know you're not entirely without a sense of humor. Okay. Shall we? Okay, well, uh, that, that was okay. You're deflecting, we could say. I want to know more about you. Um, she's not... I worry about continuing to talk with her because, uh... She, she doesn't really... She's not really into it right now. Let's go. That's enough for now. Um... We could journey separately, but no, let's keep her around. Okay, well, she's uh, prickly. Julian Z says, also, Ox, I zeted at you the zeet that Starfield account put out for content creators to apply to be considered for a code for premium Starfield. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Thank you for that, Julian Z. Traveler's Chest, what's this? Mask of the Shapeshifter? When did I get this? The magic of this mask comes from its gory provenance and makes it perfect for the discerning actor sleuth or person with a mirror and time to kill. Shapeshift. Okay. I don't... All right. Peculiar clothing chest. This chest bears the faint likeness of six noble figures from far off. Uh, open. Cape of the Red Prince, a noble warrior's cloak woven in the heart of an ancient empire. Loot of the Meriwether Bard, an old loot that hums with the voices of numerous sprites and spirits. Bicorn of the Sea Beast, a battered two-point hat that's seen the wear and tear of rebellion and a needle of the outlaw robe. Bewildering Adventurer Pack. Food. 
I'm gonna leave this here. I don't know what that does. Drake, general, die. Oh, my inventory is completely full. Uh, I just equipped this. Spike bulb. Alright, simple rub. Let's get rid of some of this armor and clean up our inventory just a little bit because this is ridiculous here. How, how far does this go? Leather hat. There's that. There's that. Okay, the bike horn of the sea beast. Um, well, I lose, a, I lose a shapeshift ability if I put that on, so... Okay, this is 3 to 6 damage. This is 3 to 10 damage. So it's worse than what I've got. Okay, where did I get it? A mug. Alright, let's that's enough of that. I don't want to do inventory management all day. This hat looks crazy. Chatter already, Tusky. Wow. I can't even see my face with this helmet on. We could say you look so unusual. Githanki are rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. We could say I'd never heard of your kind until my capture. I know of Githyanki, but I've never met one, or I've crossed paths with Githyanki before. Um... I don't know what she is, so I'm going to honestly say I've never heard of your kind. Chuk. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. <laughs> Come on now, it isn't that large. Or as if your upturned bat snout is any better. Or really, thanks for noticing. Or we could be silent, silent and face her goading. I think I'm just going to be like, I'm going to take everything she says honestly. Like, yeah, oh, you really like it? Thanks. It was an observation, not a compliment. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. She is just intolerable. Do you know much about Mind Flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be wow. shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Yikes. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Man, she really enjoyed telling that story. We could try to suppress our rising panic. We could say, that sounds awful. How are you so calm? Or we can say, that's not going to happen. We will find a cure. We'll do number three. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. Lines we must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. So we improved our affinity with her with that dialogue check. You're worried we haven't changed? This is good news. Yes, 
if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. I'd like you to join me. It is done. Okay, there we go. Alt Grendel says, uh, Sean McElroy is recommending leaving the cleric at camp and taking the thief. Okay, well, that's a fine recommendation, thanks. I uh, don't like the thief. I find his personality really annoying, and he put a knife to my throat when I met him. So maybe from a gameplay perspective, it's better to have a more balanced party with the thief, but uh, no, no, he can stay here. I'm not taking him with me. Pavel says, uh, Mask of Shapeshifter is a bonus digital deluxe edition which can change your race. I may be useful as some races are too big to fit in narrow corridors. I see. All right, well then, I guess I'll take it off because it, it looks goofy. Bacon Boy says, if you're curious in the inventory, there should be a toggle to make Helms invisible during dialogue. Yeah. Uh... There you go. Thank you. Is that blood? No, never mind. Okay, so we've got a little shack here. Barrel, and a, a plethora of containers, a fallen tree, and we can sit. Okay, let's go talk with. Hold on, what's this at the table here? Another container. Lots of containers. Okay, we've got a bloodstone and gold. Let's talk with Gail. I guess Yankee joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. See, this guy's better. He's friendly and he's optimistic. Tell me a bit about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. <laughs> I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. Oh, well, you can keep that to yourself. There. Well, that's great. We could say, uh, don't stop there. You must have many stories to tell about your adventures as an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? We could pass a wisdom check to say, try, uh, oh, to try peering into his mind. If he won't open up, we'll sneak in. Or we can change the subject. Uh, I've got a plus one to wisdom. From Jack of all trades. Uh, it's kind of rude though to peer into somebody's mind. So I don't think I'll do that. Oh, and we can leave him behind. That's it. Okay. Short conversation with Gale. Bed roll. Sleep. Standing torch. We'll turn it off. Okay, so we can interact with everything in our camp, looks like. Stack of books. Oh, there's nothing in them. Invasion plans for the Sword Coast? What is this? This is the map of the Sword Coast. Sprawls from the deep forest of Tethir to the frigid spine of the world. Its topography worn by ancient ink and the constant trade between mortal hands. Invasion plans? Are we invading somewhere? 
Okay, well, I think I'm done with camp for now. Um, do we walk out of here? Level up the gift? Yeah, that's right. She's got a level. She's a fighter, health increased, actions, action surge. Immediately gain an extra action to use this turn. Okay. Uh, all right. So we can accept. Campfire and take a long rest, says Jackson. Okay. End the day. Do you want to end the day? You have enough camp su supplies to restore all hit points and spell slots if you long rest. Okay. Oh! I changed clothes. I'm now in my lounge clothes. She's, do they have different dialogue at night? They do. Go to hell. And a good evening to you too. We could say, was there anything in particular I did to deserve such a greeting? Or watch your damn mouth. We'll go and good evening to you too. Ha, <laughs> you're a good sport. He likes that. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. We could watch the flames in silence. You sound a tad more dejected than when we first met. Or what's on your mind, Gail? Devils. Dragons. Mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. I'm not too worried. We'll find someone who can help us, or perhaps you should get some rest, or brooding will get us nowhere. Action will, or what can I say but that you're right. We're in deep you-know-what. Um, let's do brooding, we'll get us nowhere. This ballet of flames invites reflection. But you're right. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Okay, conversation done. I wonder what the purple shimmer means. I guess it means that he's a companion. He's in my current party because this guy doesn't have one. Let's see what he's got to say at night. Your magician seems dour tonight. Must not relish the idea of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, did I just see vampire marks on his neck? Hold on. Did I just see vampire teeth marks on his neck? Because they give it a try. We'll need to be fresh tomorrow or rest or don't. It's up to you. We'll try to be pleasant with him. <sighs> I'm in no place to rest yet. Look at that. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. Uh, okay, I'm not tired yet. I'll sleep later. Or we'll both stay up. I'm not ready to turn my back on a stranger. Or thank you, I'll sleep better for that. I mean, I don't think he's going to bite my neck in the night. But he might. <laughs> I'll say thank you. I'll sleep better for that. The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. Live Aries says you need to remember you just met these people. They're not your friends yet. Talk to them more, and they will warm to you. And 50% are followers, uh, and 50% of followers are evil. Okay, I mean, is there like a, a stat or something that shows me which ones are evil? 
So far, I don't like this guy. I think he's... He's probably evil. But of the others... I mean, I don't think they're evil. I like Gale a lot. I don't think that he's evil. Shadowheart, I'm, I'm not sure. Lizel, I think she's just focused. I wouldn't say she's evil. She's just focused on... She's haughty and focused and inexperienced. I don't know if she, she's evil. A monster forms inside us, yet you waste time with idle chatter. Right, okay. Uh, moving on. Where's the cleric? Ah. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. What were you two talking about? You two? What do you mean? You and Gail. Oh. Now we could say, no, you've lost me. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Or we could say, if that was any of your business, we'd have called you over. Or we were just discussing the next steps. Now who's prime? In our last conversation, she was all in our business because we were, you know, trying to ask normal questions about her. And now she's asking questions of me. Who's prying now? But no, we don't have an option to say that here. We were just discussing next steps, we can say. I see. I'd be careful with Gail. Really? You don't like him either? Um, we could say you don't trust Gail, or you like to stir things up, don't you? Stop looking for trouble and stay focused. Or I wasn't confiding in anyone, I was just talking. Or if anyone has me concerned, it's you. You haven't exactly been open about yourself. We'll st I mean, that's, that's very true. Yeah, let's do that. I have my reasons. They're nothing for you to be concerned about. She Either like way, them. be careful. You never know what length someone might take to solve this little problem of ours. And just to be clear, come daybreak, Finding a healer is our first priority. Right, right, I'll stay focused. Um, we could say agreed. The sooner we find someone to help us, the better. We could say it's late. We can talk about this in the morning, or let's not abandon all caution. This is unfamiliar territory. I will just go agreed. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. Gail approved of that as well. All right, so we managed to piss her off, but then she liked our dialogue response, so it's all good. Uh, okay, where do I sleep? Um, do I sleep or do I... Yeah, go to bed. Here we go. Fully resting. Use the required amount of camp supplies to fully rest. Recovering all of your hit points, spell slots, and short rests. Not using enough camp supplies. And it flew off the screen, so I can't. Okay, end the day and restore your hit points and spell slots. To fully rest, you must use enough camp supplies. So we could, uh, uh, uh partial rest or auto slot. Okay. And that unlocks full rest. Uh, Bacon Boy says personal preference here, but it's best to save the long rest until you use your two short rests, as long rests actually cost camp supplies. Thanks, Bacon Boy. That actually makes a lot of sense. This is my first rest, my first time sleeping, so I'm learning the ropes here, and uh, I guess I should have done a short rest, as this is the very beginning of the game. But I'm learning. I'm learning. Right, now, how do I leave? Uh... Okay, leave camp. All right, we're, we're exactly where we were. Okay, well, we found Lizelle, which was what I wanted to do. Now I kind of want to go explore the overgrown ruin. Because um, I think we finally found an entrance into it. So let's do that. Curious. 
What was that? Dirt mound. Don't fancy getting my hands dirty. I need a shovel. I need a shovel. Oh. Well, where am I gonna find a shovel? Right. He said that's curious, but I don't know what he was talking about. So there's the ancient door below. Twisting vines. Is that a hazard? Uh, yep. Mm. Mm. Okay, so that is a hazard. Oh, we got some people in here. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm off the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Lots of options here. Um, I mean no harm. So, okay, so... It looks like we've always got a dialogue option before we make a choice that requires a skill check. So let's do our dialogue option, which is, I mean no harm, I'm just looking around. First you look, then you touch, then you take. The only thing we're sharing with you is our pointy ends. Get him! Okay. Uh, all right, well, we lost, we lost our opportunity to pass a dialogue check. I am... I'm a bad bar. <laughs> right, well, we gotta kill these guys, but that means that whatever loot they found is gonna be ours. I guess I don't feel too bad. Let's see, what have we got? We've got three, four. We've got four enemies. Uh, Quilena. Gimbal Bach. Some man. All right, where's the other one? And there he is, okay. She's my primary healer. I don't want her to get hit, so let's move her. I want to move her out of the way. But she can also do it. She can also do damage. Let's move her over here. On my way. And let's see. I can use these whenever, right? Invo invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Disguise self. Blessing of the trickster. Grant another creature advantage on stealth checks. Guidance, uh, inflict wounds, resistance, make the target more resistant to spell effects and conditions. Sacred flame, engulf a target in a flame-like radiance. I don't know what that means. Charm a person or guiding bolt. The next attack roll against this target has advantage. Cool. Let's do, uh, to man. All right, she's my warrior. Action surge, immediately gain an extra action to use this turn. For second wind, draw on your stamina to heal yourself. Okay, so we should probably use our abilities first and then we can do action surge. What's this? Astral knowledge, I gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability. Gith Yankee Psionics, Mage Hand. Oh, she's a psionic. All right, let's try to get up close. Oh, that's right over a hazard. Let's avoid the hazard. No, I don't want to go through that. How do I avoid the hazard? My path be true. Then let's do a distance attack. Uh, uh, uh. 
and he's done. Okay, then we'll do action surge. Sweet, and I can do another one. Oh, I can't do rush attack again. I must make a short rest. Can I get up behind him? Not enough movement. Um, 60%, 50%, 50%. All right, I guess I'll do 60%. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, I could cast Blade Ward or Vicious Mockery. This gives disadvantage on his next attack roll. Let's see, can I hit this guy with laughter? 36% chance, ouch. Uh, that's not very good. I'm talking! 36% chance. Um. Okay, so I, I granted Blade Ward to her. 55, but I can't reach him. Well, here we go. I don't know what this does, but I'm, I'm playing a song. Swords meet sorcery. Crap, I went, I got entangled. I wasn't paying attention. Well, that's my bad. She put me to sleep. What does this do? Help. Help a downed character remove burning and snared, entangled, and, and sleeping. Here we go. And bind, I'll help. Psionic Mage Hand for, let's see, Lacerate, 60%. Damn, no luck. Let's try a Pummel Strike. Saved, I guess that's bad. All right, we'll end turn. Fight. Let's go. Vicious mockery. That's 36%. 45%. 
and I can't reach him. Target the terrain. Foundation block. What does this do? Coiled rope. So I could try to knock that, but I don't know in which direction it would go. I'm just not getting good rolls on this guy. Alright, well, I'll take the 55%. There we go. Finally. Uh, then we should probably move out of range of that. Let's go after this guy. With haste. Okay, so two guys left. One guy is way over here. Can I target this one? Not enough movement. Let's see if we can try. Fireball, 70%. Eat this. armor. Alright, Cleric is back. Well, my poor mage here, Gale, is looking pretty petered out. I don't know what Radiant means. And I can't heal. Invoke Duplicity. All right, let me see if I can at least get in range of this guy. On I go. Sixty percent, but still a miss. Time to strike. All right, this only heals myself. All right, let's uh, let's try and join Barty Horn up here. Taking position. It's Barty Horn again. Uh, can I heal my friend over here? Yeah. Okay, let's Don't try and join step. him over there and the turn. I don't fancy their chances. All right, let's get within casting range. Certainly. Let's try a ray of frost. No, let's try 
Which bolt? Oh, she's not dead. And I don't have any healing. And I don't have any offensive spells. Uh, let's see. That's a 50% chance. That's a 55% chance. I need to get closer. Strike hard, strike fast. She's dead now. You can see the blood. Great. Victory awaits. Well, uh, can I attack him from over there? Yeah. Great. Well, I'm not gonna bother getting her all the way down here, as she can attack pretty well from up here, so let's end turn. Well, so much for peace. Back to Bardyhorn. Let's heal myself. I'm looking pretty... Time to push my luck again. Pretty bad. Forty-two percent. Okay, let's move up closer first. Okay, I could uh, attack with an arrow. That's fifty-five percent. If I do a missing hit, that's forty-two percent. Okay, battle done. What's next? I guess I need to restore my mana or something, because these things have stayed interesting. Don't waste a step. Warren. Okay, well, it's their own fault for attacking me. I just wanted to talk with them, see what was going on, but they're talking about a boat. Uh, thieves' tools. Crap. Shovel! Yes! without magic. We've got a couple of backpacks down here. Torch, rope, burlap sack, potato. Right, there's a door. That's gonna require lock picking. We don't have a rogue. But, uh, I'm really curious about this foundation block. Wouldn't take much to send that stone crashing downwards. Right. Oh, there's a plaque on the statue. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. Terrence Parkin says, hey, Ox, how are you enjoying the game? I hope we eventually get a lore series for the Baldur's Gate franchise, just like you did for Fall Down. I'll be excited to track your bard story along with mine. Well, thank you, Terrence. I don't know if that's ever going to be possible, but I'll definitely play the game. Okay, well, we now have a shovel. We've got a pile of dirt. Hey. Wooden chest. Scroll of Blur and Scroll of Ray of Sickness? 
Learning spells as students of the arcane arts, wizards can learn new spells by studying certain spell scrolls instead of using them. Open spell book. Bard spells. Okay, but wizard, right? Which way to the nearest library? Learn more spells. Okay, uh, cool. Let's learn Ray of Sickness. Cost 50. And I can't learn these two because they're level 2. Well. We just learned a spell for our wizard. Okay. It shall be done. Now. Let's see if... Can't give up now. Oh, that I was too close to that. Right. Like uh. will be done. Oh, that only heals herself. Ready and willing. My faith will guide me. And she has no healing left available. Still alive. And he's got Still no healing progress. left. Song of Rest. You and your allies are revitalized as though you would have taken a short rest. Enough time wasted. Battle awaits. All right, that was a slight heal. Uh. And there's the potion. Okay. Uh, well, that was interesting. Time to press ahead. What's down there? I guess let's go into the dungeon and find out. Should probably save. Let me in now, or I killed your friends, now I'm here for you. Or we could do a bard slash performance check. Yes, it's me. Let me in. Or a deception check. Gimbal Bach triggered some trap. He needs help now. All right, the deception is plus four. The bard performance is plus five. That's what we're going to do. Got it. You sound a bit shaken, Mosh. Hang on while I find the key. Did that work? Uh, you can go around back and ambush them, sh says Sean. Shipify says Ox jump down. Oh. I can jump into this hole? I can. And we are in combat. Of course we are. Okay. Uh, 60%. Let's try a piercing shot. 60%. Nice. Bardic inspiration. Let's give it to Lysel. Let's move out of the way so that we're not all grouped up. It's a lot of guys down there. But are those explosive barrels? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna use my flame on that. Right, I'm gonna get out of the way. Distract with an illusion. <clears throat> Let's try that, I guess. Why can't I use my wizard? Why haven't I gotten the wizard? I want him to do his fireball. Why am I back to Lysel? All right, well. Oh no, I'm no, I'm on the cleric stone. Unleash me. There we go. Sixty-five, eighty, seventy. Let's do eighty. Yeah, that's a big boom. Oh, yeah, and they're all on fire. Loving it. All right, let's move out of the way so they can't target me through the door. Uh, over here. All right, so this is my... It's immobile. Oh, I have to end turn. What happened to me? Oh, am I in a trap? I'm ensnared. Improvised melee weapon, interesting. <clears throat> okay, so I, I think this was a spell that was cast on me. I'm in snared and I have to have somebody help me. Well. Can't do that. Left out of the fire there. And he's done because of Lacerate. Great. Well, I've got my cleric here. Um, can we do a concussive smash on this guy? 60%. Hamstring shot, 60%. Fireball, 55%.
course. Okay. Well, it's the best I can do for now. So I gotta get someone to help him, don't I? I got to help him from being ensnared. Um, I've got one. It's 55%. Saved, so that doesn't work. I'm ensnared. Bardic inspiration. Alright, can I help him? Help. No, that requires an action. Alright, let me get behind this wall. Another guy. He's done. All right, let me help. Is he still ensnared? He's no longer ensnared. Okay. Well, I don't have any heals. My healing abilities are not working. My resistance. I could make uh, people resistant to spell effects. Or I could try and cast this spell. 50%. 50%. Okay, I'm going to get out of the line of fire over here. Heading there. What's this? Topple, swipe at a creature. Sixty-five, sixty-five, path interrupted. Nice. All right, now again, let's move out of the way. We've got a couple guys coming. This is the only guy that's within line of sight right now, and I want to force him to move uh, in order to attack me. Let's go over there. I've got 9 of 14 life left. And do I waste a potion right now? I think I do. No, I'm going to I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. Okay, now he's at 9 of 15 as well. Do I waste a potion? Blade Ward, only half the damage from bludgeoning, piercing and slashing. Does anyone have that? Let's see. He's got mage armor, but he's hamstrung. She's got bardic inspiration. He's got resistance. Um, let's put it on Lysel. Okay, can I see this guy through the door if I wanted to? Can't reach the destination. All right. Um, let's move out of the way. I 
can't help him because I don't have enough resources, but I can move here. All right, let's see if that does it. Concentration broken. Okay, well let's let's move around. We've got a couple guys out here. One there, and no, that's the only guy that was there. So we've got one guy coming. This guy's been picking us off. He's only got nine health left. Sixty-five percent. We could hamstring him. Two to nine damage. Fifty-five percent. Okay, we'll do this. Let my name be known. <laughs> yeah, that got him. Let's move back into the room because this guy's got quite a ways to move before he reaches us. I'm gonna make him use all of that. Can I have her turn around? I don't want my back to be facing him. No, I guess not. Dash. Boom. Okay. She's about dead. Gosh. Okay, 55% to hit with melee. 55 to hit with ranged. 50 to hit with a spell. She doesn't have any potions in her inventory. It looks like I can't take a potion. Bardic attack, bardic defense. Opportunity attack. Oh, are these abilities I currently have? Reactions respond to events and triggers even outside of your turn. You can toggle them on or off and whether they automatically trigger and ask for input. Reaction? I have no idea what that means. Okay, um... I'm gonna do a ranged shot. Moving. Then I'm gonna move out of the way. Victory is assured. Sixty-five. Ignis. got no healing left either. He's got 10 life left. Blade Ward. I should put that on the Cleric so she doesn't die. She's already got it though. No, she's got Bardic Inspiration. Did that work? Oh, it's only for me. Not enough movement for that. Another step forward. Okay. Victory awaits. Well, this is what I've been waiting for anyway. Knocked him back a bit. Gonna force him. Can I close the door? <laughs> I can. I can close the door. But I'm gonna stand there waiting for him. Okay. Again, she can't heal herself, and I don't have access to potions on her, strangely enough. Fifty percent. Fifty-five percent. Bleed for me. Ah. Worked. Nice. 
Gonna get him out of the way. Creator. Destroyer. Reduces movement speed. 1 to 10 damage. 1 to 12 damage. 65%. And I miss. God. Uh, I'll stay here because this is the best line of sight for him. In turn. Now. He's getting low. All I gotta do is 4 damage. Main hand. 3 to 10 damage. Use the light source like a torch or the light spell to see in the dark. Creatures with dark vision don't need an external light source. Okay, well, that was painful. That was painful. Now, I think I have a torch. I picked it up off of one of the bodies upstairs. And why couldn't I access a uh, potion on Shadowheart? Is it because it wasn't in her inventory? Yeah, he's got two potions. She's got two potions. She has none. All right, so can I split this stack? Uh, split item. Yeah, let's split that. Confirm. Then we'll put that back. All right, I need a torch. He's got night vision. Who needs, who needs a torch? I could have sworn I picked up a torch. I guess not. Oh, here it is. Torch. Great. Let's give it to... Uh... Where does it... I have to unequip my items. Lane. Well, I'll read our Crystal says, Gosh, your inventory is so messy. Yeah, I know. I mean, I haven't found a town yet. Stool, bed. Okay, there's a lot here. Let's loot the bodies. Hesed. Take it all for now. Deal with it later. Stack of books. Hey, the unclaimed. The sturdily bound story of a cleric of Shar whose soul was never claimed from the city of judgment. Take it all, wooden bench. Rolling books. All right, the curse of the vampire. An ancient text written on dry, crackling paper. Its cover is inscribed with every holy symbol you've ever seen, and some you haven't. And another row of books. And we've got it all. All right, what's this? Stool. Have to keep going. All right, we've got a pile of books. Here we've got Death and Divinity, a godly guide. The spine of this heavy, heavy black book is inked with a chain of silver skulls. I mean, it's orange. It's, it's not even black book. All right, destitute clothes. Let's take it all for now. Hopefully, we can um, sell it later. Bowl. Anything in the bowl? I can take the bowl. No time to waste. I'm surprised she can't heal herself. Let me work my magic. Assume nothing. All right, can can I have Lips her sleep in the bed? Always shut. It's not. I've got a long road ahead. Okay. Bandit's key. Held by a bandit guarding the entrance of a cliffside chapel. You're carrying too much and are encumbered. Oh, God.
ridiculous. Yeah, what's this? this is, hold on, we got some new stuff. Let's see. This is uh, short sword, three to eight. She needs maces. He needs staves. She's got a long sword, four to 13, zero to nine, three to eight. Another torch. Short bow, short bow, leather armor, 11, bandit's armor, 11. Javelin, oh, zero to five, but I need proficiency with the weapon. Uh, the only one could, who could probably use it is her, but she's already got a better weapon than that. Leather gloves, do I have any gloves on? There we go, leather boots. A great club, ooh. Grant's tenacity. All right, I could give that to her. Can she equip that? Whoops. Oh, the torch went to her. Into a, oh, there's a torch slot. <laughs> okay, can I put this in the torch slot? I can. Mysterious artifact, crude mace. Where's the giant? There's another torch. Can I put that in his torch slot? I can, but it unequips everything. Equip. No, I don't want to equip it on him. Oh, I'm so confused. Where did, where did his staff go? Quarter staff. Move it over there. Give it back to him. Okay. This is a torch slot, right? Right. Rapier. You can send things to your camp directly from your inventory ox, says Played for Nation. That's great. Cool. Um, okay, so this I don't understand. There's a torch slot, and it's... Apparently, I can put a torch in it. But when I do, it replaces my equipped items. Anyway, I think uh, I'm good on encumbrance for now. Hardhorn here. No books in there. No books in there. No books in there. Here we go. The Unclaimed. The sturdily bound story of a cleric of Shar. I believe we already read that. And I wonder if we can sell them. There's a mirror on the wall. Let's have a look at myself. Does that do anything? I guess not. All right, is this the room we were in? Or is this a new room? Yeah, it's the room where we are. All right, so we've already explored that room. Couple of options. We could go this way. This way. That's a locked door. Hmm, this is a big place. Okay, let's explore over here. Scroll of Burning Hands, Quarter Staff, Simple Robe. Jeez. Simple Robe, that's 10. He's got a Simple Robe. Quarter Staff, Quarter Staff. Sleep says chat. All right, how do, how do I sleep? I go to camp? Campsite.
Do you want to end the day? Yes, I guess. What's going on here? Wade Speakerman gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Wade Speakerman, and congratulations to Tony J, Laura, Lud Shana, Coolest and Callie, and Stephen Fitzgerald. Neat trick, we can say. Not a trick, my friend. Magic. Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Um, first and foremost, that damn tadpole. Until quite recently, nothing at all. If you're about to start a lecture, I'm not interested. Um, I guess I would say first and foremost, the tadpole. Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? Nod or shake your head. Now let's shake our head. My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. All right, so all of our characters are noticing that the tadpole is taking its good sweet time to turn us into a mind flare. How long live the abnormal, we could say, or can you explain why the symptoms aren't showing, or and what makes you the expert? Let's do number two. That, alas, is where my knowledge fails me. A rogue might call it luck, a priest might call it fate. As for myself, I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. Hmm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. All right, let's see if our other companions have anything to say. I couldn't help but overhear... Well, all right, I could have helped but didn't. Anyway, I feel the same. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. The voice on the ship told me I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think it meant? Um... Actually, I don't think we heard him say that because you were dead on the ship. <laughs> so this, what you're talking about, didn't actually happen uh, in my playthrough. Anything's possible, but we still need to find a healer. Sounds like it had plans for us. Who knows? Could have been a hallucination. I'm just glad we are still alive, or maybe it's a compliment. Let's try number two. Sounds like it had plans for us. Whatever they were, those plans were interrupted by the dragons. Either way, we can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. Well, I've said my piece. Get some rest. I saw you getting a lecture from our magical friend. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no, not a tentacle to be seen. That's what everyone is saying. Is it so strange or I'm hoping it'll stay that way or not yet, or I could say the same to you. And we could say the same to him. Indeed you could. We're all doing surprisingly well, given the circumstances. I'm not taking anything for granted, of course. First sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. <laughs> I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. One, I'd prefer not to die. Or two, a knife, that seems quick. Or three, poison, that sounds painless. Or four, try it and I'll spill your guts. Or not sure, how would you like to go? Let's find out. I don't think poison is for me. Nor stabbing, come to think of it. 
I always felt decapitation was a fine choice. One good swing and then nothing. <laughs> but we were talking about you. What'll it be? I mean, that's what people think, but we don't really know. Like, back when the guillotine was all the rage, they would decapitate people and the heads would blink for a while and the mouths would open a little bit and I mean it would take a while for the mi for the faces to stop moving so is decapitation the fastest most painless way to go or do you get decapitated but you stay in your head for a while feeling every pain feeling all the blood rush out of your head feeling everything but unable to speak for minutes until you actually die I don't know uh, we could say decapitation sounds good, actually, or if I had to choose, I'd want the knife, make it quick, or poison, then it should be painless, or I don't have to choose, or I'd rather have one of the others do it. Ah, let's play his game, sure, why not? Um, let's do the knife. <laughs> A classic. One good thrust to the heart, and you're gone. We need a good blade, of course. Don't want to waste time hacking and prodding with a dinner knife. Uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> this is all a worst-case scenario, obviously. Obviously, right, right. We could say obviously, but that won't happen. It can't. If the last day has taught me anything, it's that the impossible is more likely than you think. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetical. Separatory funnel. What, what, what was, what did I just pick up? Telescope. I spy with my little eye. Yeah. Nothing of note, really. Mudwort, running basket. So is she practice, practicing her Tai Chi over here? Abominations grow inside us. Our bones should ache, our mouths should bleed, yet we thrive. It is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. Okay, and that's all we can say there. Right, well, let's rest. Let's do a partial rest. I guess. You will not use any camp supplies, but your hit points and spell slots will only be restored up to half their maximum, and you won't regain any short rests. All right. Ooh, where are you going, rogue? What is he doing? <sighs> what was he up to? Well, that didn't seem to do much. And I'm still encumbered. Okay, is there a chest here that I can dump stuff into? I'm not encumbered. Okay. Yubaka says, Ox, click on the campfire icon in the lower right to take a short rest. You'll get some health back. Will I? 
Short rest. Twice a day you can restore 50% of your hit points. Oh, but I'm already at 50% of my hit points, so this isn't going to help me right now. Short rest. Rest. Long rest. Go to camp. I see. Uh, right. Where were we? I think where we're going over here. Book of Final Breath. Dense rows of scrawled text. The few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this. This, it's Move Maj Pinner Laboratory Explosion. Hmm? Hrothcrest, way late in a Neverwinter Alley. You're blocking my light. Dana Ree, Water Tavian Feather Lung. Okay. Ancient scroll. And a granite bench. Nice. Let's see what's down here. Oh, is this where we had our camp? Looter's trunk. Gold cup, plate, glass challenge. We got food here? Yeah. Fried sausages, wheel of cheese, a supply pack. Long abandoned. No more worship. No more prayers. Who are those prayers for? Normally the patron god is obvious. Not here. Okay, I think we got all the food on the table. Oh, there's a cheese wedge. Wade says, Oxhorn, technically you are alive after de decapitation until your brain uses all available oxygen. We all die from lack of oxygen to the brain. I suppose you're right. Portrait of Thane. Ooh. I can loot literally everything. It's, I just don't know what is important to loot, what I should not loot. Cutting board, candles. Stack of books. Do I need books? There are just a lot of books. What's this, a plaque? Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Candles. Man, I want to go to a shop. Just sell all this crap. Ah, okay, so that door connects there. Right, well, let's finish exploring. Okay, we explored down here. We got the looter's trunk. We explored down there. We came in through there. There's a door here. No lock, no handle. How does it open? Journal updated. Explore the ruins. Uh, companions. Explore the ruins. We found a locked door, but it doesn't have a keyhole. There's got to be something interesting behind it. Okay. No keyhole. Can I jump up in there? It's 
go to the other room, see if we can find something that's gonna let us into that room. Light the candles, says the chat. I mean, they were both lit. I just turned them both off. There's that one back on. There's that one back on, but it doesn't do anything. No look, no handle. How does it open? Is there anything else for me to inter interact with here besides candles? No. What happened to my torch? Oh. There we go. Unclaimed. Uh, what's that? Well, my inventory is so cluttered that I have no idea. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop looking at all the bookshelves because I just keep finding books that I don't know what to do with. The unclaimed. It's just another book. Okay. Chapel Records. Fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Grobian, Tipple, Ilmater, <coughs> Drowning, Ivan Arkinson, Ogma, Internal Rot, Devron Stout, Saloon, Fever. You do not recognize the language on the plaque. Oh, I have the magic touch. May it please, Mistra. No one stopped me yet. Nothing in the rustic chest. What the hell? Catch a break. Something over there. Ooh, there's a lever. Ink pots and gold. Look at that. I think it opened the door? Maybe? <laughs> Pithos says, hope you're having fun. Hi there, Ox. Quick save off and cheers. How do you quick save? F5? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna quick save off and thank you for the recommendation. Now let's go see if that door opened up. Aha! A dank crypt. Journal updated, explore the ruins. We found a way into the abandoned ruins, that's all it says. Okay. Well, opulent chest. A plate and a cup. Wow, so opulent. I yes, I'm getting a distinct whiff of crypt. Undisturbed, too, until now. Oh, we've got big, heavy oaken doors over there. We'll explore those last. Gilded chest. And it's just plates and cutlery. Hmm. 
on death and resurrection. An excerpt from the ongoing meta text Rebound by Yosef Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the meta text, her God's an annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value is a life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiments so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar burial, uh, barriers in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kelamvor, weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in return. There is, of course, an alternate route, not the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth have found them to be of the most dull and unimaginative, uh, unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they are so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path, and wealthy enough to return. Darkness Knight gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Darkness Knight. And congratulations to Brett's Build, Intra, Loot Goblin, Ludi Coden, and Sebastian Sanchez. We've got another big heavy door. Well, we'll do this one first. Button. Oh god, did we push the big button? The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Vent. Disarm. Sleight of hand. Total bonus is three. I've got a trap to disarm a toolkit, dexterity, and jack of all trades. They would have vented this room with gas. Looks like. Well, there's the button. Let's explore the room first. Disarming traps. What? Turn-based mode. You've entered turn-based mode. Uh, disarming traps. You can use a trap disarm toolkit to neutralize dangerous traps. Okay. So I'm, I'm having to run around and What's next, I find traps. Tra
downed. If a member of your adventuring party reaches zero points, they are downed. This is a state between life and death, where they roll each turn to survive. On three successful rolls, they become stable. On three failures, they die. Helping a downed character. I've got two downed characters. No, I've got one downed character. Right. Uh... Okay, well, he's still alive. Let's try this way. And now she's dead. That's right, she had a sliver of life left. Um. Resources, action. He can't. He can't help her. Okay. The path less traveled. Why can't he help trap? Her? This place is more dangerous than I thought. Why does it say wait? Wait. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Okay, these have bought this one. All right, let me. Not enough movement. Environmental turn. Okay. Uh, let's disarm this vent. That's all the traps except for that one. Quickly then. All right, what now? <laughs> okay, is that all of them? your taste. A bunch of slime just got released out of there or something. Okay, uh. No time to waste. Environment turn. Right. Grease. Well, do I risk the grease to disarm the trap? I guess I do. Okay, 
that's all the traps. Let me tell you this, for now. Exit turn base mode. Okay. Why did it switch me to turn base mode, I guess I wonder. Never a dull moment. Uh, because the environment, I see. <clears throat> so all I had to do was turn the button off. Okay. If not over, then through. Okay, ring mail armor. And an axe. Uh, disadvantage on stealth checks. Not proficient with heavy armor. Is she? She is. That's 14. That's 15. Okay. Well, what she had on was better. <laughs> Are any of these guys proficient with heavy armor? Is she? No. Alright, great axe. like she's not proficient in them either. Or is she? Zero to nine, four to 15. I guess she's uh, proficient in that. Gargoyle head, disarm. Do I need to disarm each of these individually? I guess I don't, because I pushed the button, right? Do I get experience from this? I don't know. Okay, we got a ruby ring, a soul coin, a skull, and a bone. A strange coin. I wonder what it's worth. All right, did we ever find out what was in this middle sarcophagus? Yeah, we got the engraved key and the Watcher's Guide. It's a dagger. Okay, uh, who do we give the, the dagger to? Probably... Can he have... A staff and a dagger? No, he can't, uh, he can't wear it. I guess we save it for the rogue. Ruby ring. A battle axe. Um, four to fifteen, zero to nine. Okay, now it says four to fifteen. Four to fifteen. Four to fifth four to thirteen. Okay, what about this? Battle axe. She needs a mace though, because she's a cleric. But still, this does zero to nine. Can she do this one? She can, but she's not proficient. Okay. All right, so is that all this is? Just uh, loot? A couple of uh, sarcophagi? All right, well, we've got a key, so we can leave now, right? We've got another room over here. Used engraved key. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. 
hats or something. All right, we got a couple of nooks, a statue. Ooh, there's another button. Oh, God. All right, should we take a short rest to get everyone to half-life? Oh. Rested enough. Now, forward. Okay. Okay to open spell book. Prepared spells. I definitely want to get to that button before something bad happens. There's the button. So let's go around here before we start looting everything. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. A monument to a forgotten god. How quaint. What was that? Well, that wasn't for traps, that was for something else. Oh, dear God! No! <laughs> Something just woke up down here. Oh, dear Lord. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Well, I thought that was going to disarm the traps like they did in the last room, but no. It opened a door and summoned a bunch of undead. Brilliant. Okay. to equip something besides a torch. <laughs> then I need an off-handed uh, weapon, right? Okay, uh... Give up. Onward. Twenty-eight? Silence! Silence Aura? Uh... So anyone within this dome is silenced? Is that the way it works? I'm gonna hang back with him. Time to strike. No time to waste. Yeah, I get silenced if I move into that. <laughs> Immune to gaping wounds. Swing your weapon in a large arc to attack up to three enemies at once. That's four to nine damage. That's four to 15. This is four to 15 and it bleeds, but it's a skeleton and that's not going to happen. All right, so I can't get all the way through. 
With that, even though I used my other turns, we're going to do a ranged attack. Surprisingly, we did it. All right, so we're gonna end turn. not gonna be nice. These guys only have 10 health. Just not turning out to be good. I am fury. I am death. Okay, these guys only have 10 H uh, HP each. So if I can get to them. They're gonna go down quick. The problem is that I'm kind of stuck all the way down here. 42% uh, chance. All right, well that's something. Make, Make way. Let me get out of here. Got 13 health left. 50% chance to do between 3 and 10. Let's get this over with. <laughs> and I miss. Critical hit, but saved. But I'm no longer silenced. Killed him, but not quite. I am fury. I am death. All right, we could work on taking this guy down. He only has three health left, though. But if I don't hit him now, he's gonna have a turn at me. So let's work on uh, taking him down. Forty-five percent chance. 
That goes up to 55%. <laughs> For Pete's sake! missed. Ooh. And a miss. Nice. Okay, come on. 50% chance? Give me something higher than 50%. There we go. At least he's done. Got to get out of this silenced area so I can do my spells. On my way. There we go. And I've got a heal. I should probably heal my caster over here. Let's finish this. Not enough movement for a melee attack. But 60% chance. 70% chance. Feel my mistress's wrath. And he's done! Oh, finally, a bit of luck. <laughs> Critical hit. Jeez. Alright, well, you're going down now. You've got two life left. Now, I could cast a mage hand, but that's only going to do one damage per attack. All right, one skeleton left. I want to get within casting range. May it please, Mistra. Swift and lethal. There this is your end. <laughs> really? Really? It was 85%. to surrender their valuables, even after death. Fools. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. We didn't die. I'm not sure how we haven't died yet. All right, a scimitar, three to eight damage. It's worse than what I've currently got. Moving in. A new staff, zero to seven damage. Is that different than uh, his current staff, quarter staff, quarter staff? Just a regular dagger. Oh my god, I want to find a merchant and just sell. Scroll of Burning Hands. Nice. My mage guy can learn, right? Uh, bard. spells. I can only learn Blur and Detect Thoughts. Is it because it's not on his inventory? Scroll of Burning Hands. He already has that on his inventory. Maybe that means he's already, he already knows it. Scroll of Blur. Let me just put all of my scrolls in his inventory and see if that actually does anything. <clears throat> Ancient Scroll doesn't appear to be a spell-based one. And the rest are all books. Okay, so let's go back to K, go back you to this guy, attention. and I still can't learn anything else. Right. Now those are empty. There's a plaque over here. On it. Let's go read the plaque. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. My pleasure. Long effort to hide one sarcophagus. Here we go. Oh, that's bad. 
That's very bad. Is that a boss? Should we have healed? So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Crap, why do I have this guy talking? I wish my bard was talking. Quite the question, what's the reason for it? So he has spoken? What he are you talking about? Little spooked by the crawling out of the tomb bit. What are you? A peaceful undead, interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? <clears throat> what is the worth of a single mortal's life? We don't have an option to d answer the question directly. I'm gonna go number three. I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, ask away. So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? No one life is worth more than any other. We are all equal. That depends on a person's deeds. Life's only value is as currency. Doesn't matter to me otherwise. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. The only life that matters is mine. Depends on the mortal. Lots of great options here. Um, I like one and I like four. Guess I'm gonna go four. And thus, balance is achieved. If all are at war, none can win. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Well, we just released a zombie uh, out into the world. Oh, okay. Withers. I can do that. Well, fine. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. I mean, he seems nice. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again, soon. Great. Soon is rather vague, when exactly? You better not follow me, there will be consequences. You seem very certain of that, how? Let's try that. The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. Guess I'm not that upset. He seems nice enough. All right, so I think then our friend Gail here was the guy who opened the sarcophagus because I had him clicked. I have a lot on my mind. Um, when I well, went to look at it. it. So, heavy chest. The amulet, amulet of lost voices. Speak with the dead, level three necromancy spell. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with speaking with the dead. Is there anything else inside their richly adorned sarcophagus? Yeah, we got gold and another soul coin. All right, well, let's put our new uh, necklace on. Put this on her, I guess. 
Right. <laughs> well, I'm glad it wasn't a boss fight. These boots have seen everything. I didn't think I could take another one. <laughs> this uh, this dungeon has just uh, tried me, really. It was exhausting. A key, heavy key. Chest. Not a ring. Chasm! Can we jump into the chasm? No. There's a heavy... Go ahead. I'm listening. Whoops. Uh, it's not what I meant to do. Another soul coin, the mo a morning star. As if that were enough to keep me out. She found something locked. A studded shield and a bomb. Nice. I think we may have an upgrade for our cleric here. Morning Star, zero to seven damage. That's zero, two to seven damage. Hold on a second. But in her hands, two to nine damage. Two to seven damage. So it is an upgrade for her. Now she currently has a studded shield, and that's exactly what that is. Oh, uh, dagger. Man, poor Barty Horn here is getting encumbered like a madman. Because madmen tend to get encumbered, right? Another studded shield. He's carrying so many shields. Another quarter staff. Another quarter staff. And here we have another scimitar. Let's give that to her. All right, I think we're a little less encumbered now. Another quarter staff. Gosh, I want to find a merchant. All right. Silver necklace. Who doesn't have a necklace? Is there a way to organize my inventory? Because this is ridiculous. Uh, silver necklace. He doesn't have a necklace. There we go. Pack a book of dead gods. Just chilling. He's tending to the place Withers is. Well, have fun. Ooh, a gilded chest. Scroll of protection from evil and good. All right, let's give that to our, our boy Gale here. Can he learn that? Yeah, it was ripe with magic. Yeah. Look at that. New spell, protection from evil and good. Great. Immediately. Cat5 says next to the search in inventory is a sort button. Search? Oh, I have to open up in this mode. Okay. Um, wait. Scale mail. <clears throat> She's already wearing something better than scale mail, right? Armor class 15. Class 14. Does it change if we put that on her? Yeah. We'll give that to her. Cleric's gonna wear scale mail, uh, scale mail, right? 
Yeah, there we go. 14, 13. All right, so that's an upgrade for her. Camp supply sh uh, sack. Stores your camp supplies. Dark mind, leather armor, leather armor. And then we're all wearing leather armor, right? Bandit's armor. Bandit's armor. Simple robe. Simple jerkin. More camp supplies. I'm carrying a bunch of camp supplies. Okay, let's head out. So there was a trap door. That was a long dungeon. Sarvis the Drow says, here's a tip I learned only recently. Gale is a human and has proficiency in light armor and shields from being human. Yes, but he's a, a mage. Can he wear shields? He can wear armor. Okay, well, that's better. It's weird having a mage not in a robe, though. But that gives him a point one. Can he... Can he have a shield and a staff? Does he need a staff to cast magic? This staff grants him the, the ability Topple. He can! Quarter staff and studded shield. Thank you, Sarvis the Drill. All right, so if he can do a shield and uh, a melee weapon, maybe I should give him something better than a staff. Three to eight, three to six. Not proficient with this weapon. Not proficient with this weapon. Proficiency with this weapon. <clears throat> the Watcher's Guide, it does zero to five damage. But it has a, a special bonus. When the spear misses its target, <clears throat> the wielder's next attack roll against the target gains true strike. Okay. Now, can we give him ranged? Not proficient with the weapon. What about a crossbow? No. The goblin bow is 2 to 7. The short bow is 3 to 8. Oh, that's still 2 to 7. Okay, no matter what, when she holds it, it's two to seven. It's two to nine. It's three to ten. Three to eight with the goblin bow. All right, so he can't have a bow. Interesting. chest and arrow of light of lightning is that a staff deals three to ten piercing damage and explodes in a bolt of lightning targets hit by the lightning possibly take an additional two to eight damage thread like bolts of electricity arc across the arrowhead the moment this arrow is knocked it's an arrow
So is it a single-use item? Pavel says in D&D uh, 5e, you can wear and hold everything you want. You're just getting serious penalties when you're using ones which you're not proficient. Yeah, I figured that out, and I want to avoid getting serious penalties. Okay. Well, we found two treasure chests. We looted this entire I'll place. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. We should probably rest at some point. But we need to find this camp that What's-Her-Name has been talking about, so I guess we need to, like, we haven't even left the start. This is the crashed ship. <laughs> We've barely moved at all. All right, I'm guessing we need to go up here and, oh, oh, they marked it. Find Zoru. There it is, way up there. Okay, I wonder if we can beeline up there to continue with the quest. How are we doing on time? Three hours in. God, how, how has that been three hours? <laughs> I can't even believe it. Three hours in. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Shouting? Okay, but from which path? Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Uh-oh! By the nine hells! Open the gates! the blade and suffer its sting <laughs> that's an entrance oh we're fighting now oh come on we didn't get a chance to rest after the last battle all right uh holy heck all right let's see one two three four we're coming up behind all right so we, they've got three guys here and then will where was will will there's will Dashing, uh, dashing swashbuckler, and then they got some guns on the on the keep over there. Oh, looks like. Okay, so this is where we're coming up from. Right.
every last one of you! Is that a bar? with line of sight on this guy, so let's... We can't give him Shield of Faith. I could make him more resistant to spell effects, but these guys aren't doing spells. Seventy percent, forty five percent, sixty four percent, forty percent. Got him. All right, so let's move forward. Have to keep going. He's a caster. I want to see if I can get him up here. This is going to be the fastest way. Tonight to King Five. Hi. Oh, is that for me? I'm broadcasting. I'm broadcasting. I'll talk to you when I'm all done. Can I see it? Oh. Sweet. Thank you, Gwen. I love it. Yes, I'm on camera right now. <laughs> thank, thank you, Gavin. My kids are back from camp. My son says, Cotton 4K. All right, tell you what, I'm going to get this hand. Because maybe I can push her off. I'm fury. I am death. All right, we're gonna need this guy down here in the middle of it. Actually, they may be able to handle it. Now I've only got two guys up there. My path be true. One damage. Okay. Well. Okay, he's got one he health left. She's got seven. There we go. Let's get him down. Breathe deep and move. <laughs> 
Goblins are dying everywhere. That's what I love to see. Uh, okay, so we still have one way up there. Can I reach him? 40%. 45%. Or, I mean, they're well, they're doing well here. They've got, oh, they're actually, let's see if I can get close. 45. These mortals be. Mine is the advantage. Forty-five, fifty-five, sixty. <laughs> 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 I knocked her all the way down. All right. Now I have the high ground. What a wasted turn, though. It was saved, but I had 60%. Swift as my feet can carry me. Stopper. Possibly inflicts chest tra trauma to a target. 55%. Chininator says, hey, Oxhorn, sorry I'm late. Just finished catching up on last Thursday's Baldur's Gate session. Just now catching this stream. Watching at two times speed to catch up. Love all you do, Ox. Thank you, Chininator. Welcome to the show. Allow me to demonstrate. All right, this is what I wanted. I wanted the high ground here. How flank, how <clears throat> smart. 75%. And he's done! Okay. I will ascend. Prepare. Sacrifice six meters of movement speed to deal an additional three slashing damage with your melee weapon this turn. I mean, he's only got three health left.
It was a 65% chance. Come on. And there it is. Light on my feet. Targeted my own character. <laughs> of course I did. I was supposed to target the bugbear, but no, I shot. <laughs> I shot Party Horn. <laughs> Golly. Well, I'm learning. You know, things things are are coming to me. There we go. He's bleeding. That's a lot of blood on that battlefield. Holy cow. Oh no. One of them died. Vicious mockery for fun. Crusty Saved. Wow, he is just not doing well with his bardic chance today. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. Oh, okay. They were tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here, other than bloodshed. A horde must have settled nearby. More will come, and more after that. Poor Barth! Barth is dead. He's got a brass locket, though. Studded shield, leather armor, short sword. Man, I feel bad, but... Crimes! Certain actions are frowned upon by others. Get caught and you might find yourself in a prison cell. Oh, so looting his body was bad. Okay. Gloves of power. Hey. A spike shield. A goblin scimitar. Gloves of power. Absolute Bane. On a melee hit, possibly inflict a 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. Okay. Um, would that be good for her? Does she have gloves? Boots. Boots. There we go. Yeah, give that to her. Uh, brass Locket. What does this do? Well, 
Well, let's put it on. Now, for the uh, spike shield, that's plus two to armor class. I wonder if it would be better for her. Plus two. Plus two. Okay, then we've got a uh, goblin scimitar. Can he wear scimitars? No. Can she use scimitars? She can, but it's only 4 to 9 damage. As opposed to the 4 to 15. Then we've got a hand crossbow. That's a light crossbow. 3 to 8. 3 to 10. So this does more base damage, but this unlocks a new skill giving me two additional crossbow skills. Not proficient with crossbows. She can use bows, but not crossbows. Interesting. That was Zach Rugg. We've got another goblin over here. Scroll of Grease, a ritual staff, a bullywig trumpet, alchemal ingredient. All right, if we give the staff to, uh, oh God, I can't even see it in my inventory now. Ritual staff. Zero to seven, zero to five. Uh, it gets topple. Yeah. So that's still better. Watched. Another goblin ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so what's good? Emerald Grove, a town. Wait, can we go up here and loot the body? We could, but and you was ready to let them have us. Probably get in trouble. Us out, leaving us to die. Let's not loot the body, but let's talk with the people up here. Rika? Cannon? He's not breathing! Go find a healer! Do not embarrass yourself. He is gone. No! I mean, maybe we can do something about it. You need to avenge this. Spill some goblin blood, we can say. Or I'm sorry it happened so fast. Or he's dead. Stop wasting your time. Or we could leave. Let's uh, say I'm sorry. Someone's going to pay for this. Arka, no, wait! What are you doing? Can we resurrect him? Oh, it must be a playable character. Bloody more goblins. What's next? Feel like we're being watched. Tieflings, you mean? What <clears throat> did you just say? I should have known. Can't trust the devil. Watch your tongue before it's too late. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Looks like we're injecting ourselves here. Where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. One fight just ended, and now you're picking another? Relax. Druid, those goblins didn't take any prisoners. You can cough up my payment anytime, or we can pass a bard persuasion check to say, what's unbelievable is how we beat the goblins. You're both heroes. Yeah, let's do that. 
Oh, but we got to pass a 15. Still, like, I, I get a plus five from all of my abilities. Yeah! And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! Oh! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. We could melee attack, take a swing at the trifling, melee attack, aim a blow at the human. Persuasion. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think, or we can stand back and watch. Um... I'm gonna go persuasion. Hopefully this time you, uh, passing my persuasion check won't lead to more bloodshed. That's another tough one, 15. No! Oh! oh, I failed it. Should've done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. He tried opening the gate. He tried. You put him in a bind showing up like that, and he did try to open the gate, yeah. Or, so you knocked him out cold instead. Clever. Or we could let him speak. I'm going with number one. Too little. Too late. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Well, once. Let's try to avoid any more punching. We need to find a healer. Yeah, I agree. We could say a prayer. Well, he's, he's leaving. All right, go leave then. What about this poor guy? Is he all right? I tried to intervene. Mm, regression. A cheap shot. I should have expected that. Are you all right? Or Aridin ran off? Or you had that coming? Or better that than further bloodshed? I suppose we'll go with better that than further bloodshed. Indeed. I'll survive a sword jaw. This grove has bigger problems right now. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. I have no quarrel with druids, we could say, or why are they forcing you out? Or those goblins, have there been many attacks like that? Or I won't be staying long, I just need to find a healer. Let's see if he can give us tips on finding a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer. But he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? Or what brought you here? Let's try uh, this ritual. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I'll see what I can do, or I'm sorry, I've got my own problems, or what are you offering for my aid? We'll go, I see, I'll see what you can do. I think you should. Yes. No harm in trying the diplomatic route. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Well, I, I, I have a strange feeling that despite our best efforts, we have a, again become sidetracked with another side quest. Precious Baldur's Gate. I care about our lives, our futures. 
No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back, right now. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. Or dire times, high stakes, I understand. Or seems like most are tree flings. They'll be fine. They have devilish powers, or we could leave. We'll go with number one. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Yay, my first merchant, hooray, I can get rid of my junk. There are two ways to buy and sell items. Trading is quick and easy, but bartering will let you haggle for the best value. I don't know what I need at this point. Like, do I need to save resources? Which of these are alchemical resources, crafting components, and which are just dead weight? God, I don't know. Um, Calm down. Please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. Smoke powder bomb. Malachite. Uh, an alchemical to tool. I'm guessing that's just for selling plate. Onyx. Portrait of Thane. Um, is this like a quest item? Cup, another amethyst, no, that's a, another, that's a malachite. Candles, a, an empty bottle, bones, plates. I, I just picked up everything I saw for a while there. <laughs> Rope, I might need it if it's anything like fallout. You know, if I need to uh, descend into a pit in the glow, I might need some rope, so I'll keep it with me. A dark mind. I picked this up at this the very beginning of the game. This gate. I care about our lives. Our future. Milk can. No, you a just care about your lid. stupid apprenticeship. And then we've got books. Take that back. Right now. Book of the dead gods. How much money does he have to barter with? 550. A burnished necklace. Uh, I could save this for another companion, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't have any stats. Uh, road dusty gray clothes, no stats. Leather boots, no stats. A studded shield. We don't uh, even know these people. That doesn't matter. I don't have does. very many characters you that can wear studded shields. Strangers over us. That's not Some what I said. Chicken. Can we stop shouting? No. Morning star, but I just picked up a morning star for my cleric, so I don't need it. A goblin scimitar. I don't really have any characters that can use a scimitar at the moment, and yet I might find one in the future. Goblin bow. All my bow characters already have bows, so I don't think I need another one. So I could use that for my rogue, short sword, javelin, uh, torch. What's that icon by it? Do all my characters have torches? I should probably keep at least one torch. Trap disarm, Calm I'll keep down. that. Scroll of revify, scroll of grease, arrow of lightning, shovel, soul coin, potion of healing, simple toxin, rotten fish. Yeah, we'll get rid of the rotten fish. Rotten mushroom. <laughs> and we got gold. 
Careful, his coin limit is 500. Yeah, but selling everything in my inventory on this guy has got me only up to 372. Cat5 says, Oxhorn, you can just double click on an item. You don't have to drag them. All right. Let's switch trading characters. Switching characters in a trade will reset your offer. No. Let's barter. Donate these items. You won't receive any gold from this trade. Are you sure you wish to proceed? No. Uh, this is about your precious border's gate. I care about our lives. Our he's futures. offering 372. No. You just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back. Sure. Right now. Okay. What has he got? He's got a lot of stuff. A lot of really cool stuff. Blue gloves. That's 320. Gloves of missile snaring. You can intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by 1d10 plus your dexterity modifier. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Do I buy it now or do I wait to see what other merchants have on their inventory? There's a lot of s interesting stuff here. Maybe I should wait until I inspect other merchant inventories here. Thieves tools, short bow. We don't bow, even know these people. That doesn't matter. Hand axe. Of course it does. Dagger. You would choose dagger, strangers over us. Mace. Crude That's mace. That's what I said. Long sword. Can you stop shouting? No. And crossbow, battle axe. Old floppy hat. I like this hat. I don't want to lose the hat. Leather jerkins. This is her old chain shirt. But the one she's got on now, the scale male, is better. Doesn't look as nice. But as she's my only character who can wear it, I'll go ahead and sell it. Ring male armor. Ooh. Did we just pick that up? Calm down. Please. I won't 14. leave them behind. Oh, it's you a heavy it, armor. Alright, wooden shield, bandit shield, bandit shield. What's this? Perfumed letter, still legible in spite of water stains and smeared ink. Uh, I can read. I guess I gotta wait until I'm out of the dialogue. A hammer. I mean, maybe there will be something that I need to smash and I need a hammer for it. Water, wait a minute. Do I need water? And then a void bulb and destitute clothing. I'll just go ahead and... That's the rest of his... That's the rest of his stuff. But this is worth 209. This is about your precious border's gate. I care about our lives. Our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Sylvanas, guide your path. Right now. Be careful, Nero. Traders, watchful eyes. Their attitude towards you affects the price of their stock. <sighs> All right. Let's read the letter. Sigh, I love you. There, I said it. Oh, this is the thing that we already read. Okay. Well, let's put the hammer on Barty Horn's inventory, just in case. Let me put the ringmail armor on her inventory, because she's currently wearing half plate. 14, 15. Okay, so this isn't as good. But I exhausted everything that he had. So let's find another merchant. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No? Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. 
We could say nothing. We could say, get out while you can. The goblins will be back. Or we can pass a persuasion check to say you should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. Uh, let's try it. All we need to do is pass a 10. Just barely. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Yay, and we did good. Was that good? Level up, says the chat. I'd okay. die if I met... Goes College of Lore. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Choices pending. Uh, chosen subclass, College of Lore. Specialization available. You pursue beauty and truth, collecting knowledge from scholarly tomes to peasants' tales. And you use your gifts to hold both audiences and enemies spellbound. Subclass features additional proficiencies and cutting words. College of Valor. You wander the land to witness and relate the deeds of the mighty, keeping alive the memory of heroes of the past and inspire heroes of the future. Actions, combat, inspiration. I mean, I already have that, right? Or College of Swords. Goodness. A highly trained and skilled warrior, you use your prowess with words and weapons to fight and entertain in equal measure. Flourish. Um, I have all of these, don't I? Spells. Uh, we get to choose a new spell. Okay. Blindness. Calm emotions. Humanoids can't be charmed, frightened, or become enraged. Cloud of daggers. Conjure a cloud of spinning daggers that attack anyone inside. Ooh, that looks cool. Crown of madness. Instill madness in a humanoid enemy, making them attack the creature closest to them other than you, even if it's allied. Oh, that's cool too. Detect thoughts. Focus your mind to read the thoughts of certain creatures. Enhance ability. Bestow a magical enhancement upon an ally. They gain advantage. Enthrall. Reduce a creature's peripheral vision and make it look at you. Heat metal. Cause a metal weapon or armor to glow red hot. And force the wearer to let go or receive disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Hold person. Hold a humanoid enemy still. They can't move, act, or react. I like that too. Gosh, so many great options. Um, Cloud of Daggers is great, says Bobby B. Yeah, I think I want that. That looks cool. Um, and then there's Replace Spell. The amount of spells you can have fixed in your mind is limited. As you level up, you may wish to replace old spells with new ones. Um, charm person, healing words, speak with animals, Tasha's hideous laughter, or thunder wave. I mean, I haven't used speak with animals yet. Let's try that, and let's change it in with, uh, crown of madness. Looks really cool. Also, this hold person. Yeah, I need something that holds people for ten turns. That's great. Invisibility, knock. Lesser restoration, cure a creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. Um, I mean, I could probably use that as well. Phantasmal Force, deal damage to a creature each turn. The type of damage changes to the last type the creature suffered. See invisibility, shatter. I tell you what, let's get hold person. I can only change one spell per level up. Oh, I see. Subclass. I guess I don't know what this is. If I choose this one, I get to choose a fighting style. Adopt a particular style of fighting as your specialty. Dueling. When you are wielding a melee weapon that is not a two-handed or, or versatile in one hand, and no weapon is in the other, you deal an additional two damage with that weapon. Or two-weapon fighting. 
When you make an attack with your offhand weapon, you can add your ability modifier to the damage of the attack. So an additional two points if I keep the other weapon slot open, or fill the other weapon slot and add that weapon's attack as a damage modifier. Or College of Valor. Try that. Okay. Shadow Heart. Health increase. Class features. Level 2 spell slots unlocked. I got a bunch of new spells. Trickery domain spells. Right. <laughs> Leveling up doesn't heal you? Oh, man. Gained two spells. Choices pending. Oh, goodness. Let's see. We've got two more spells here. Um... Arcane lock, close the door, blindness, blur. Attackers have disadvantage. Cloud of daggers, I have that on my bard now. Crown of madness, and still madness in a humanoid. So interesting, the wizard and the bard share certain spells. Let's do that one for one, and then darkness, dark vision, detect thoughts, enlarge, slash reduce, make a creature larger or smaller to affect their weapon damage and strength. Flaming Sphere. Summon a Flaming Sphere that damages nearby enemies and objects. You can move the sphere. It emits a bright light. Gust of Wind pushes creatures back. I've got that on my bard. Invisibility. Knock. Uh, magic Weapon. Infuse a weapon with arcane energy. Melf's Acid Arrow. Hmm. Shoot a green arrow that covers the target in the ground with acid. Ooh, that looks nice. Mirror image, misty step, surrounded by silver mist, you teleport to an unoccupied space you can see. Ooh. That would be so useful for teleporting out of danger and finding high ground to shoot from. I really like that. That's going to be extremely useful. Crown of Madness is more of a bard ability, isn't it? Okay, prepared spells. You can only cast from a limited selection of spells. Grease, eh. Thunderwave, Sleep, Witch Bolt, Mage Armor, and Burning Hands. Ray of Sickness poisons the target. Ice Knife, throw a shard of ice that deals piercing damage. It explodes and deals cold damage. Yeah, I like that. Fog Cloud, protection from good and evil. This is one of the new spells I learned. Protect an ally against the attacks and powers of aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. Now, poison. This poison is really useful. Um, now, for level two, I've got Misty Step. Crown of Madness. I just purchased Crown of Madness. Let's get Crown of Madness in there. Burning Hands, though. I really want Ray of Sickness because it poisons a target. I also like putting enemies to sleep for two turns. That would be great. Nah, I like that better. All right, so I've got Misty Step. Do I really want Misty Step? Yeah, I do. Okay, so there we go. Misty Step. <laughs> Dupe Macaw says, where did the followers in Fallout originate from? The followers of the apocalypse, they originated from California. 
We met their founder during the events of Fallout 1, and uh, she can Can't help. Keep the goblins out forever. She can help this is no fortress your main no characters warriors. Um, gain access to the master later on in the game. Okay. Specialization available. Chosen subclass Battle Master. Let's see. Battle Master. Uh, they're paragons of tactical superiority combining combat maneuvers and experience in the field to dominate every fight. Subclass features superior dice. Your superior dice are D8s. You have four. At fighter level 10, these dice become D10s. They fuel your battle master maneuvers and are expended upon use. You regain expended su superior dice after a short or long rest. Eldritch Knight. Eldritch Knights study magic to supplement their weaponry, allowing them to overcome resistance from the toughest foes. Okay, so I gain spells. I mean, I've already got a number of uh, characters that have a ton of spells. It's kind of nice to have one character just devoted to melee. Or champion, you approach the complex problems posed by combat with one distinctly effective solution. You hit those problems really quite hard. Subclass features improved critical hit. The number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. <laughs> I like that. Let's do that. Champion. Nice. Subclass features. Great. Okay, we are fully leveled up. I guess we gotta talk to everybody in this town to um, find more merchants and see what's going on here. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. <laughs> this face is so good stuff. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hey there, can I have a word we can say? Or this whelp is hopeless. You're wasting your time. Or it's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Or we can pass a half-orc check to say, Enough sniveling, child. Your enemies will not be swayed by tears. I mean, pretty brutal. Would a bard say that? <laughs> I guess this is kind of my fault for making a half-orc a bard with beautiful curly hair. <laughs> but yeah, well, we're a half-orc. Let's go ahead and use our half-orc dialogue check. Ignore him, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. <laughs> well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. Ooh, he's you got a slug too. You are the blade too. of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe help. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites, or another escapee, or escapee. Thank the gods, I need all the friends I can get. Or who was that woman, the one in your thoughts? Or we could try peering further into his mind. Well, he kind of cut us off, and I suppose that means he doesn't want us to do that, but um, let's try to be friends. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. 
I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Who is she? Or hunting in the hells, dangerous territory. Or cavorting with devils, I see. You should consider better, better company. Or a devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Feyrun? It seems like a political question. I'm not really suited to asking right now. Ah, uh, this one judges him. This one warns him. We can just be inquisitive. Who is she? Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Let's join forces, we could say. I'll help you cast this devil back into the hells. Or I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Or good luck with your devil problem. Seems your work's cut out for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad they at least give us these really sort of dismissive options. Um, are we prepared to promise this guy that we're going to help him with this quest? No. We're focusing on our ice slugs right now. we got to get rid of those. But maybe we'll help him in the future. And for the moment, we both have the same goal. we got to get rid of these ice slugs. Let's suggest that we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Awesome. Well, um, go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Gale approves. Cool, so we got a swashbuckler in our party. Oh man, now I gotta make some hard choices. I like all of my characters. Bard, cleric, wizard, warrior. I guess it makes sense to Again. switch out Blazel. Swing and swing and parry. And again. Swing and swing and... Oh. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. I am a bard, of course. I can spare a story. That is my job. I am the half-orc bard, Bardyhorn, and I shall tell you a tale. They're just children. Why are you teaching them to fight or soak the battlefield with blood? Do not resist death, but embrace it. Probably not something we want to say to kids or... Be strong and watch over your kin. In trust, there is victory. Or bad news, children, you're all gonna die. <laughs> one of these days, I'd love to play one of these games and just be the, the awfulest character ever, just to see what the reactions are. But I'm role playing a bard guy here and I don't really have an option that I want. I wanna like, like weave a tail or, or do something really poetic, but that's not what they're giving me. I guess the closest is be strong and watch over your kin. In trust, there is victory. Yeah. 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 Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Okay. Got some smiling kiddos. Can we talk to them? Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Okay. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. I mean, you already lost an eye, kid. No warriors. Step, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not... Nah. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I've never, just never seen your... Your face is... Well, I, sh I should get back to it. <laughs> he doesn't like my face. We could say interesting technique, having some trouble. Or you'd better surrender that target's far better fighter. 
or we could pass an half orc check to say, you yelp like a frightened dog because of my face? I mean, I gotta do the half orc check. No, no, no offense, man. I was just surprised. Concentrating on this blasted target. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Try hitting the target, we could say. Ooh, that's a bit snarky. We could pass an athletics check to say, to demonstrate a swing, show him the fluidity of movement that he lacks. However, I've got a negative one from strength and a plus one from jack of all trades. So they even each other out. I could instead pass a half orc and performance check to show him how to coil his shoulder muscles into a more intimidating stance before striking. To coil your shoulder muscles? Is that how shoulder muscles work? You coil them? Like, eh, yeah, coiled, eh. All right. I mean, we've got a lot there. We've got plus three from charisma, plus two from performance proficiency, and plus two from performance expertise. We'll pass it. Or we could detect thoughts and read his mind. I mean, it's, it's I don't like invite, invading people's privacy like that, so we'll pass the half orc and performance check. And we only got to pass a seven. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, like this, you mean? Step, Everyone approves. Step, strike. Yes. You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Hey, what do we get? One last thing, don't shout out your moves like that. Spoils the surprise for your foe. Or keep training. In time, you'll make short work of any goblins. I'm sure he's not gonna do that in actual combat. It would be a bit condescending to say that. He was clearly just doing it because it's a training dummy. So we'll say keep training. We'll encourage him. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Oh, and we could say it again. All right, one last thing. Don't shout out your moves. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. And we leave. Well, we got a whole bunch of approval from all of our companions during that dialogue check. All right, inspiration gain. What is all that? Item received battle axe. When a character performs an action that's true to their background, they gain experience points and receive inspiration. Inspiration may be spent to re-roll an ability check. You can have a maximum of four inspiration. If you're at your maximum inspiration, completing background goals only grants experience. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? Um... <laughs> True. Acolyte, Shadowheart, Charlatan, Astorian, Entertainer, Bardyhorn, Sage Gale, Soldier. So they really reward you for role-playing your character. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, uh, we could go off this way. I'm thinking this is to where the druids are. Let's finish exploring around here, see if there are any more vendors. Can't keep the goblins out forever. I mean, I don't want to loot no all of that because I'll be no stealing, warriors. so I'm going to leave it alone. Oh, who's this? This looks like a vendor, maybe. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open, too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? <clears throat> yes, we could say, and I suggest you do as she says. <clears throat> we could pass a half-orc check. <coughs> To say, give the Treefling a menacing glare, or hold it, Lazel, I'll see to this one. Um, okay, let's give him a menacing glare, because that's what a half-orc does. We got some disapproval from our companions there. Is he bowing? Is he bowing? <laughs> Wait for the trifling to obey, or we can say on your knees. She won't say it again. Well, that's enough, Lazel. I'll take it from here. Uh, okay, I already lost some affinity from my other companions, so I'm gonna say that's enough. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Ooh, we, we could say, fine, do as you must, but keep it quick, or enough, Lazel, you will be silent. 
Yikes. I think I'm gonna hold my ground here. You will be silent. Um, <clears throat> come on, stand up, or you can breathe again. I won't let her hurt you, or you. Tell me where you saw the Githyanki. On the road to Baldur's Gate, near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly, straight to the other side. And I just, I just ran. The map, show me. Did she really murder a guy? I'm sorry she can be harsh, or thanks for the information, you can get up, or leave him bowing, or all right, Lazel, you got what you needed. We'll say I'm sorry. Well, that was interesting. I guess I'm a little confused as to what happened there. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Subordinate? No, we are partners and you will treat me with respect or you've made your point or if you've finished scowling at me, what comes next? I'm not going to take this whole subordinate thing. Kenyak, your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Did you say teethling? Or what do you mean purification? Well, I think we know what she means. We can chuckle and say, ha! She rolls her eyes. I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. No, 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 it's fey run. Well, even I don't understand how to pronounce it. Or what do you mean purification? Well, we'll go ahead and say Faerun. Maybe she doesn't like that. What do you mean purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Okay. Well, we got some great information on where to go next. Our map is updated. Even if we kind of lost some uh, affinity with our companions because of that. All right, let's see what's up here. Ooh, shabby wooden doors and it's locked. I don't want to piss off these guys. Who's this? You're an idiot. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Now there's a door over here. It leads to a goblin in a cage. We'll hit that on the way back around. Let's see what's over here. Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. <clears throat> You're doing the right thing. The triflings need help, or why rush the rush to leave? Or leave on your own? Why wait? Let's do why the rush to leave. You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroa can begin shortly. I cannot be late. Yes, that Laroican. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. <clears throat> Good idea. Powerful acquaintances never hurt. Or hold on, I'm not sure about this, Lorecan. Or we need to go. 
we have a more pressing problems, remember? Or we can pass a Baldurian check to say, I've heard stories about Lorikin, not all of them good. And I guess we'll choose that one. Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I've admired Lorikin for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The wow. names Roland and Leroican will be known far and wide. You'll see. I guess we shall. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. One more time. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. We could take the bowl, we could say I'm not hungry, or we could say what is it exactly, or a bowl of ragu reminds me of home. <laughs> Let's take a bowl and be polite. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Item received. Rule. I'd die if I met Leroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. Hello, sweetness. Auntie uh, Ethel. Ah, it isn't the talk of the camp. It's a rare day when I see one of you lot about. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There's an awful slump to those broad shoulders of yours, Petal. Are you hurt? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've <laughs> lotions and potions galore. Lotions and potions. Love it. <clears throat> There's no need. I'm fine. I'm just here to trade. Let her fuss over you. For what are you, an alchemist? Let's let her fuss over us. Aha! Uh -huh. You take a sip of that, and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. <laughs> we can drink the potion. Or we could say, and what is this exactly? Or might this concoction also help with something more serious? We'll just drink it. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. <clears throat> I've been better, it's difficult to explain, or I'm fine, just bone weary after a difficult day, or that's no concern of yours. We'll allude to our little mind slug here. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not, I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good <laughs> as new. Depending on the lighting. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Well, we could say I've got a Mind Flayer parasite in my head. Or there's nothing wrong, I swear, everything's fine. Or that's no concern of yours. Let's be honest with her. Let's see how grandmotherly she will remain. As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along. Her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. Really? Such as? I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon so I can meet you there. Thank you, Preston. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Sure, show me your wares. Hey, bother. All right, well, uh, we need to head back to her little shack at the edge of the forest. All right, let's see. She's got 578 uh, credits or whatever they're called to barter with. Let's uh, lighten our load a little bit. We no longer need this mace. 
Wait, I can double click, right? No longer need the long sword. Uh, no. No longer need the hand crossbow. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face before I control. <laughs> You're an idiot. Do we need all these books? Probably not. I guess I'll keep all of these scrolls, just in case. And then her. We sold everything. Now she's got the potion of invisibility and a Coralon's grace. How many until shows off his thunder wave? Staff, four to eleven Depends. damage. How many people are dumb enough to ask? Natural pugilist, you gain a plus one bonus to unarmed attack rolls and damage. Unhampered resistance, while the wielder is not wearing armor, they receive a plus two bonus to saving throws. So this requires wearing a robe that is not armor. Hmm. Tell you what, let me finish exploring the town, and then on our way out, we'll go to these guys and purchase anything that they might have that's interesting. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Peggy. Uh, <laughs> I'd hate if something happened to you. Is she for real, or is she just putting on an act? I guess I don't know. All right, then we've got uh, Damon, a traitor. I'd die if I met Thanks for brother. fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Terrell. That forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Terrell fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Let me see your wares. All right, well, we have sold everything we need to, have we? No, we could sell the Morning Star. I don't think I need it. And the Goblin Scimitar, and the Goblin Bow, and the Javelin. I'm gonna keep the hammer in case I need to smash something. We can get rid of the battle axe. I'm gonna keep the shovel. And then we've just got potions. Be grumpy, and this portrait we'll of Thane, I'm thinking that I might be a quest item. Grumpy. Scowl on your face, front of troll. <laughs> and he's got a bunch You're of armor for sale. Way better than what we've currently got. And a rapier, a light crossbow. Oh, he's got all the good stuff. All right, we'll have to come back to him later. Damn, druids. Who uses wooden tools? All right, so we got these people to talk with, but I think I'm over time. So we'll finish exploring this druid place. Let's save. We'll finish exploring this druid place in my next broadcast. Hopefully convince the druids to allow the refugees to stay. And then we'll either go to the old granny's house in a cottage on the edge of the wood, uh, which is not at all concerning. Uh, or we'll <clears throat> continue uh, heading to the cache, or whatever the place is called, where we might be able to get these mind slugs out of our head. Either way, we're going to be continuing with this on Wednesday. So in two days, we'll pick up right here where we leave off. Thursday, of course, is Scotch and Smoke Rings. We're going to be playing and probably finishing my friendly neighborhood that day. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope to see you there. I'm going to be working on the next episode in my lore series today. Uh, if you missed on the last episode, go ahead and watch that. It's live on my channel right now to prepare you for the next episode in the story of the railroad. A good, uh, a good video to catch up on if you haven't gotten there yet already. Thanks, everybody, for joining me today for the broadcast. And I'll see you all soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.
significant. 